This is the Mitten Hall. This is where Gary and I did our UK wedding, of which this year I will get some photos because I'm going to do uh, a section on wedding and wedding planning and tips and tricks and things like that and crafting that you can do for yourself. This, I believe, is the best venue where you can get married. It means a lot to me, obviously, because I had my little ceremony of 12 people um, because my father could give me away. Um, obviously, you know what happened to my father. My father sadly passed last year. And we did that because he couldn't fly at the end of the day to Spain, which was where the big ceremony was. So many of you might have seen me vlogging about this when we've been for dinner here. But this is absolutely stunning. It's a listed building. It's called the Mitten Hall and they've got a wedding fair on today. So today is January the 6th. Now I will tell you there's another fair on next week. So if you've missed this one today and you are getting married, then there is next week. However, it's not just all about weddings. The Mitten Hall also do functions. So it could be, <coughs> they, they even do wakes. They actually do the ceremony with the coffin in the main hall if you wanted it. So I just want to cover that first of all, but also you've got 21st, 18th, 50th, 60th, you name it, 70th, 80th, you can throw here. It could be a blessing, a wedding blessing that you want to do. In fact, um, back in, uh, well, when Frankie Jack was one, his, his birthday when he was one year old was on a Sunday. So I did his first birthday and his christening on the same day and we held it here. I mean, obviously those are the days when I wasn't vlogging. Uh, so I've only got pictures of it, which is a shame because I would have loved to have vlogged on it and it was absolutely beautiful. Um, now we'll give you a tip if you want to get married here. The best time to do it is March, uh, sorry, January, February or March. That's when they hold the cheapest package. So their package is £5,000 and that allows you to have 60 guests during the day and at night. Now that package includes your meal, it includes... Um your drinks on arrival it, it, it includes the table done up with the crockery and uh, very plain with just a plain candelabra but I will show you that and it's well worth it a lot of people tend to think I'm gonna get married in the summer and I'm gonna get married on a Saturday um, well I disagree because those days are always the most expensive and just to give you an idea if you wanted to get married here in the summer and I think again that's 60 guests or 50 guests during the day and at night it's 13,000 I think it's 13,000 or 13,200 which is still relatively cheap now I know you're gonna go oh my gosh but weddings are expensive my tip and it's always been this is do not get married on a Saturday I got married on a Friday when I got married here I think it was a Wednesday or a Thursday get married midweek now if you, you're gonna say well my guests can't come then your guests will come if they want to come to your wedding and if there's less guests, it's less money for you. And those that are most important and dear to your heart will be there. So get married during the week, do a week and do in the winter or that January, February, March period. First of all, it gives you something to look forward to after Christmas because those are the dreary months. Everybody gets married in the summer. And if you're getting married in the UK, you are not guaranteed the weather. You're not even guaranteed it in Spain. There was a couple of weddings when we were there that were the month before, which was May, and it teamed it down. Also for my wedding, it was really, really windy on the day. And I got married in Marbella on June the 3rd. So you're not guaranteed, even if you picked a, oh yes, it's going to be sunny because it's going to be a Saturday in August. No, because I try and plan Frankie Jack's uh, um, party in August. He's August the 16th. I always do it on a Saturday, and I'm always looking up to the to the um, to the to, to the minute of if it's going to be good weather. So you're not guaranteed that. So I would highly recommend that if you're getting married here, there's even a package going now if you wanted for 2019. However, there's not many days left. I think there's some Sundays left uh, going throughout the year. But if you're looking for 2020, £5,000, 60 guests in the morning, 60 guests at night, I'm telling you, this is a wow of a venue. And of course, that is... Unless you're like me and you're a finicky old so-and-so, that is the bulk of your money apart from your dress. Um, and I'll give you another tip on the dress. Don't go over the top. I'd rather put it in the diamond ring that I'm wearing, which I did. 
So um, anyway, so this is your entrance, but you will have a red carpet there. So it won't be um, bare like that. And they have those, you know, that I had for Frankie Jack's party and when it was Santa with the ropes that go, I can't think what they're called. Now the flowers that are around uh, the archway as you enter now look absolutely beautiful, but they were put up for, I think it was a party or a wedding uh, just before um, uh uh, Christmas or just after Christmas so they're still there so that archway is absolutely beautiful but that is something that you can add on as extra but if you're crafty you can actually do that display yourself um, however if you want a professional to do it and you want to take the, the, the pain out of it you can do these are artificial flowers this is what I did on my wedding day in Marbella I bought artificial flowers um, from a wholesaler and then they are put onto sort of um, a, a netted rack um, almost like um, uh, chicken wire if you know what I mean uh, you've got hydrangeas there, roses um, which was all the flowers from my wedding day and I also have peonies um, so that actually could be done yourself however if you're not crafty and you don't have those crafty hands or that crafty thought uh, then of course it's always better to go to somebody but these are oh, I've nearly slipped then. Uh, these are all extras that you will pay for uh, you don't have to have this now the other good thing about getting married at the mitten is that you can actually um, uh, get married and you can um, have your do afterwards there so that you can so everything appears in the same place however if you do want to get cars they can also give you an idea but it might be a family friend that has a car that they you can do up for or you might want something a little bit different you might want I don't know my friend did it with a uh, did it with a camper van you might want a horse drawn the carriage there's lots of different things that you can go for but um, I know I'd love to say I parked my car darling before I did this vlog um, but that's one of the cars that they would recommend. They will recommend suppliers to you and the Mitten Hall will only use the very best. And believe me, they are absolutely top, top, top notch. Um, you can't get, I, 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 I will say this, you can't get anybody more fussy than me for having everything absolutely pristine and perfect. And I'm telling you, I cannot fault them. I've had uh, my wedding here, I've had Frankie Jack's first birthday and his christening, and I also had uh, my 40th here. And you cannot, I cannot recommend it highly enough. Um, so that is one of the cars. So that will be uh, not part of the package, but you can get that. That's if you're getting married elsewhere. Now, if you're not getting married elsewhere, um, then of course you don't you don't need to have that. So that's another cost that you can cut. So these are tips and tricks. But obviously you've got to decide because you might want to get married in a church. There might be an area that you want to get married and then come to the mitten hall afterwards. I'm going to go inside now and show you around. I'm going to be showing you the bridal suite. Now it's going to be a little bit noisier, but I'm going to show you some of the table displays that you can go with as well. This is how you enter. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn you around so you're not seeing my ugly mug in the shot. Uh, but as you enter here, in fact, I'll do it this way around, then I'll come back and do it again. So you've got the uh, the stool, the seats here, but I saw once a wedding actually stack lanterns. We know how cheap lanterns can be. In fact, they might even have them to hire, but you can pick them up from like B&M and places like that. And you can put either tea lights in or you can put that fl those flameless candles. But all this is with a red carpet. So you're beautiful guests. I mean, you could even put fairy lights on the tree. I'm sure they'll do that as extra, or you can add those to it if you wanted to. But as you enter, you can see how beautiful it is because quite a lot of entrances, even for weddings, aren't good. And I like that wham bam as soon as you come in. I'm telling you now, I cannot recommend this place highly enough. So as you enter, you'll also get Prosecco on arrival. Um, they haven't done it here, but usually what they do is they have two white tables here and here, and they'll have um, candelabras on them, and they look absolutely beautiful. But you could put your welcome drinks on there if you wanted to. Um, you could, uh, and of course, you've got your master of ceremonies that's included in your price as well. So as you as you enter, you set the you set the room up how you want it to be. Um, they can recommend everything from the cake supplier. So they take um, obviously when you're setting up a wedding, it's really sort of daunting, isn't it? For who do you go to? Who's the best? Now I would always recommend, even though they'll give you the suppliers to go to, um, they will be the very best and at the top of their game. But I would still recommend hunting around and having a look for other people and see if you can find it cheaper. I know that's not. 
funnel. Uh, more affordable is probably the better word to use, isn't it? But you're going to see some of the rooms. So I'm, I think I'm going to switch you round um, so you can see the room in all its glory. But you've got cakes, you've got handmade chocolate. Um, of course, the chocolates and things like that you can do yourself. But they also do chocolates dipped in strawberries. Um, this is the bar that everybody would use that, that on the wedding day. So you can come and uh, sit down here and just get away from all the mayhem. But what Leslie Ann, she's the manager, she's amazing. There's a gin bar that you can pay 5 95 extra for. You get five bottles of gin, mixes of fruit and garnishes. Uh, and then that, that gin bar can be set up anywhere in the room that you want it to be. Um, so you could have it in the corner and then guests can go and help themselves. Now with your package, you do not get um, a free bar but you can pay for that if you wanted your guests to have it. Uh, some venues will include it, some venues won't. So I'm gonna turn you around now and speak to the camera so you can see everything uh, in all its glory when you walk in. As you walk in, this is what you get, and you have the red carpet, you've got the candles either side that I would recommend you do in. So it's little bits like this, it's little sort of um, what I would say uh, attention to detail that I'm always for. So of course you'll have your tables here, you'll have your master of ceremonies that will welcome you and uh, the Prosecco will be on arrival but look how beautiful and what I love about this room is everything is in the same place apart from that bar which you have to go to and you don't want the bar in the middle of your room anyway. Um, apart from that bar, everything is here because quite a lot of wedding venues will have extra rooms or it'll be in an L shape and then everybody's not included in the party. Now if you come to one of these, which there will be next week, there are people like uh, Nicola Morton, she's a photographer that you can use, that's used by the James's, um company which own the mitten hall um, and then you've got uh, um, a videographer as well I would highly recommend that you can't have your wedding without a photographer or videographer you'll only regret it now the Christmas decorations are still up because we are the 6th of um, January but um, those are going to be taken down so you won't see those next week but of course if you're getting married uh, at Christmas then they just make the I mean I would love to have got married at Christmas but I didn't I got married in May and then June in Marbella so this is an Another one that they recommend uh, that you that you come to, which is uh, let me have a look. It's called uh, Just Yours, and it's a cake making company. Um, so you've got pieces of cake that you can actually try on the day. But then look at this. I mean, just amazing. You've got all the marble effect. You've got the gold. Um, almost like leaf design, your flowers we put on, it'll be your colour that you choose. Or you can go for this that looks like a top hat on the top with the flowers. It's just absolutely stunning. Um, I'll also recommend to you uh, somebody to do your stationery because she is wowzer, but I'm going to do a separate interview with her. Now, these are the tables they've already set up for you. Um, now, this is what you can go with, but of course, this costs you extra. What's fabulous about this place is that the, chair, the, the covers on the back of the chairs are included in your price if you want to go for things like the sequin tablecloths um, they are um, extra <clears throat> now if you remember I had sequin tablecloths at my wedding I prefer them to be puddled on the floor which you can do um, which is the full length I think there's one down here um, for a formal ceremony when I did my research because you know I go to intricate details they should be puddled on the floor slightly um, and that's the formal way and of course wedding you can't get any more formal than that the sequins are tiny little sequins. Now you can hire these or you can have them made. They hire them out to you. Um, I actually had them made in China and uh, shipped to me in England and then I flew them out to Spain with me. Uh, in the UK, uh, the woman that I'm going to recommend you go to for your stationery also does the rooms up for you as well. She's used here at the Mitten Hall. She's called Nicola and she is... There's not many people I would trust to do a room up. You've seen how particular I am. This woman, she's called Bride's Little Helper. She is amazing. But like I said, I'm, I'll put her details below and you have to go to her. Um, you know, you can even call her up if you're not in the area. Um, but she's absolutely wowzer. And she did my wedding. She did my 40th for me. Um, I didn't know when the christening was going on, but she is spectacular. Um, she helped me with the wedding in uh, Marbella as well. So she gave me tips and tricks of, of what to do. And um, that is just amazing. But I will go through this because I'm going to do 
like a section on weddings for tips and tricks. Um, so this is one of the uh, the table displays that you could have with the silver tablecloth. Now don't forget you can get different colours as well. I didn't have silver, I had rose gold because my wedding was done in rose gold. Um, but you've got the candelabra. Now that automatically comes with your package. So white tablecloths, the backs, now you don't have to have those colours, you can have the colours that match your wedding. Those come automatically and you can have this beautiful design which is just a candelabra in the middle of the table. Now this is what I had for Frankie Jack's first birthday and his christening combined and then I brought my own DJ in but they have a resident DJ that you can go with if you want to. Now if you have a look at the roof, you've got these wonderful drapes that hang down with the fairy lights. Now this gives it the wow, they are extra. Um, four years ago when it was Frankie Jack's christening and first birthday, they were a hundred pounds extra to have those, but they really do have a wow factor to them. And then of course you've got the, the lights at the back, and you see the drop lights at the back that you can, you can go with as well, but they will be extra. Then you've also got the wreaths, but they're for Christmas you wanted to have something extra like that then I'm sure it will be extra or you could sort it out with your florist. Um, the head table, um, I don't, I'm not a fan of the big long um, head table because purely and simply um, I like the fact of being, oh Oh, someone is playing saxophone. I had a saxophonist at my wedding. It was amazing. Um, this is uh, the long table. And of course, you always want that big display. But you can also do it with candles. And you can do little things yourself. You don't have to go OTT with the flowers. Or you could have fake flowers and do it yourself. There's lots of different things that you can do. It just depends on how crafty you are. But these little tea lights are fabulous. I'm not so sure whether they supply them. Um, whether it's in with your package or not um, but you can also get those for hobby craft and I think they end up being about 50p or a pound each um, and then you could give them away afterwards couldn't you um, so look at that the backdrop will be extra but it looks amazing they've also got um, a magician that you can book astounding entertainment it's the modern magician um, we booked sound to perform at our drinks reception and it was the best thing we ever did um, this is just to entertain people and look at that photo it's brilliant isn't it it's captured it well there um, this is uh, Sam Fitton so if you want to go and have a look at him he's on the website www.samfitton.com and of course you can book him uh, wherever you are it doesn't have to be particularly at Mitten Hall um, this is another table display that they've done just showing you different creations that you can do in fact this is very similar to what I did in Marbella but I will tell you that flowers in Spain are ridiculously expensive uh, oh I can't even tell you way more than they are in the UK some things were cheaper some things were more expensive but if you have a look at something like this I mean it's absolutely stunning but really easy to create if you are creative um, so of course you can get these kind of things from the range you've got the lights that you just used for Christmas um, that are, are, are available at the range and then they put that into some oasis with the now it's whether or not you can do that yourself and whether you can be bothered um, for me I did a lot of my own which I will show you at a later date I did all my table decorations myself but if you haven't if you're not crafty like that I can't be bothered uh, then this is this is something that you can come with they're uh, advertising a company called the flower girls today and those are in Clitheroe I mean it just looks absolutely stunning doesn't it they've even gone for the little lights in here I love it I'm actually gonna do um, a course this year if I can on flower decorations so that's the plain one or you can go for um, the done up one I'm gonna show you my favorite in just a moment just gonna go back over to this one because this is showing you the grandeur but I love the fact that everything's up in the air because it's very important that you have it up in the air because you need your guests to be able to see through so when they're sat down they need to be talk talking to each other a lot of people make the mistake where they do this grandeur they don't have that tall um, sort of thin column in the middle of the table and then guests can't talk to each other and then it completely spoils it I will tell you that if you are at the mitten these mirrors are included in the price but obviously as I've said before the tablecloths are so that's another idea that you can go with you can go with uh, decorating the candelabras which I think is absolutely stunning but actually my favorite one here today is probably the most simple and it's this one here I 
love this so much I can't even tell you I think this is so beautiful you've got the tea lights it's very simple it's very 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 elegant um, I don't know how much it's going to be but you've only got little bits of flowers around so I can imagine it must be a little bit less in price but I think that is unbelievable that blew me away when I saw it it might not do for you but it did for me you've also got areas that you can have a look at while you're here if you come in next weekend uh, it's called the love story bridal so this is and um, somebody walks around in um, uh, um, uh, go on what's it called bridesmaid dresses oh I'm a silly wallet and uh, of course you've got a choice of everything because of course you've got short you've got long you've got uh, uh, massive sort of princess bridal outfits if you wanted to go with but shop around it's very important and what I will tell you a tip and trick for any brides don't just take the one that your family will go all oh, that will do because nothing will just do uh, this is the most important day of your life and if you're not happy with your dress um, you're going to be disappointed right from the start Saxophoni saxophonist am I saying that right um, he is magnificent they will give you the details for him as well um, and of course they've got that DJ but I had a saxophonist um, I had somebody called um, I think he was called Kiki and uh, he is one of the best in Europe don't, don't ask me how I found him because he wasn't in the UK he lives in Spain so I was lucky to be able to get him in Marbella but he travels all over the world and he was flipping amazing I'll put my um, wedding video up uh, in the next couple of months so you can see it in all his glory so this is um, DJ's DF, DFC I think it's called for the C the wrong way around um, uh, so of course you can see it even looks good does the DJ stand I think that's really important um, that they look good when they when they set up because um, I don't want an ugly uh, look at DJ set in the corner and then of course you can go through all your music with them because it could be something that you and your family are into you might want to do half an hour rock and roll um, you know you don't always have to have what they uh, say they could you could just say you know just go with what you want but a DJ the most important part of being a DJ and this is where my background of singing comes in is that they must keep that dance floor full if they're not keeping the dance floor full then they're not doing their job so if they're playing something that they want um, and the dance floor isn't full or people have <clears throat> say you put a song on they put a song on and that that floor isn't full then it's important that they change that music and get that dance floor full uh, this is another display that you can go for if you're going for um, sort of a really sort of country uh, wedding sort of display um, so yeah really important that that DJ keeps that that floor full even if your music and your husband's music is sort of rock or something like that um, it doesn't matter you can play a little bit of that however if your dance floor isn't full you've got to remember that people people want to go away going oh my gosh I had the best bop ever so this is where you can have a look at suits and things like that um, uh, and they will give you ideas for that but I will tell you you don't have to sorry you don't have to go over the top with things like that you can look on eBay you can, might have a, a family member that can make them you might find suits in necks that look absolutely amazing uh, look at the drinks reception as well that you can choose look at this this has got to be um, the Prosecco and they're floating um, real flat hours on there how beautiful is that and of course you've got the drinks reception as you come in uh, one tip I will give you um, I work obviously um, with Paul Ross um, and he is so superb Paul Ross Jonathan Ross's brother and he always looks so dapper and um, I mean he wears the most amazing shirts and amazing clothes but quite I mean obviously he does wear a few more expensive bits but quite a lot of the time he's often said to me um, oh yeah she's like a tenner from next I got it in the sale and it's like wow you've just made it look so good um, so don't think you have to go and have your suits handmade remember you will only wear them for a day and you will never get the money back um, for what you're paying sometimes it's even cheaper just to hire them or like I said go to next so this comes through to the main bar um, which is um, part of the mitten and of course this is the dream makers um, which show you and, and put together your package for you so, so people are sitting down already this is the main bar I love it I just love the mitten hall it's so beautiful are you ready for this wowzer if you come in here oh Frankie Jackson sat down there with my mum.
Look at this wowzer come through to that Christmas tree. Oh my gosh, is that adorable or what? They've also got a grand piano, um, which I don't know whether they can move through, but if your guests are coming in and around here and you've got somebody in the family or you want to hire somebody that plays the grand piano, you could do that as well. You've got the roaring fire, the candelabras that they can light up. Um, of course, if you get married at Christmas, the Christmas tree's going to be there. If you're not, you won't be. Um, this is where I had my 40th, but they completely changed it. But this is where you can come for, for dinner and lunch as well and have a superb afternoon tea so i'm going to take you upstairs because i'm going to show you the bridal suites it's lovely having a nosy anyway isn't it because um not a lot of us see this because if you're not getting married you won't have a look at it but i always think things like this are just so fantastic anyway um bedrooms are that way but the bridal suites are actually down here so this is actually having a look over it's really um is it edwardian is that what you call it look at it Look at that tree, look down there, you could look at all your guests. You could even have your photograph taken up here, couldn't you? You could even do a toast up here if you want to do a pit or a bit with a videographer. Um, and then it looks really, looks like you're a king and queen for the day, which you are. Um, now, this is brilliant. So this is the queen suite, that's the king suite. So this is you come up the stairs. So obviously the bride will go in the king suite. But here, you've got bit like Alice in Wonderland. You've got, so this is your main door, but if that bride wants to go and see what's happening downstairs and all the guests are mingling, or you know, if she's having the ceremony here and all the guests are down uh, stairs in the bar, she's not going to want to go and see her room in her dress for everybody to see before she walks down the aisle. So what they've got here is a special door. Now, so whether she is in the king suite or the queen suite, she can actually come out of her bedroom, go down the back passage <laughs> to the main hall without anybody seeing her. Now, I didn't know that existed because, of course, the day um, we got married, we got married in church, we came in a little car, and there was only 12 of us because I didn't do the big elaborate ceremony here. Oh, sorry, squeaky floorboards. So, Let's go through. Oh no, they've closed that door now. They had that open because they've opened the main doors. So one of the most important things is having your hair and makeup done. So we come into um, the queen suite here. This is one of the suppliers they use, which is Wedlock Bridal Hair. Now this is really one of the main areas you need to have your hair done. I highly recommend this and look at this. Now, I look at that and that is my kind of style because so many brides go for these updos that are sprayed to high heaven um, with hairspray and look so 1980s, 1990s. Look at this. Look, at this is what you see kind of on Pinterest and how you want your hair, isn't it? It's just beautiful. And of course, wedlocks can do your hair like this. I'm hoping I might be able to get an interview with them Um you know in a couple of weeks time or a couple of months time and show you them doing hair but look how amazing so they've got lots of different hairstyles you might have a picture that you want to bring with you from pinterest it's a really 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 great place is to go and have a look at pinterest because that gives you an idea so obviously make sure your hair goes with your get oh my gosh look at that one. Oh my word I'm not just thinking about weddings, I'm thinking about birthdays, I'm thinking about nights out, I'm thinking about New Year's Eve as well. Um, so, you know, you might have a special birthday coming up. These are the girls I give a flash, but they're not doing it. <laughs> they're not doing an interview today. Um, so, yeah, really, really important that that hair looks good. And of course, if you use something like this, they might have extensions that you can bring, or you might have bought extensions on the day that you can clip in and make your hair um, look absolutely outstanding. But also what you want is your hair to last you all day that's really important you don't want it falling down um, it needs to look good all day the other thing I would highly recommend is a makeup artist so we're going into the uh, king suite now so I'm just going to stay out of the way because a lot of people are talking and I don't want to get in the way of when they're choosing uh, their makeup etc for their wedding day but this is the king suite just beautiful you've got the four poster bed um, that you've got and you've got the rose petals on the bed now <clears throat> 
This is Leanne Jackson Makeup. Um, she's a, a wedding makeup artist. I haven't had a chance to speak to her yet, so I don't know whether she does other things, but it looks like she does with the amount of makeup that she's got. Um, now, really, really, really important. You don't understand how important it is to have your makeup done correctly. I know you probably think, oh, I do really well my makeup, and if you're an experienced makeup artist, then of course you're going to do your own. But if you're not, um, it could be that you haven't got your foundation at the right colour. It could be that you don't get your eyeshadow right. Uh, makeup artists, when they put their makeup on, they get the primer right. Your makeup stays on all day. Um, also, the other thing is that you wouldn't believe a, you need that little bit more when you're having photographs taken for you to look pristine in those photos that makeup needs to look good and if you're not used to wearing false eyelashes go with what the makeup artist says you don't have to wear big drag queen ones <laughs> it can just be really soft um so then of course you've got excuse me sorry you've got the en suite which is absolutely massive look at the size of that and you've also got a shower and a bath as well so these girls are brilliant now you might already know a makeup artist Artist. you might have seen somebody you might have seen some makeup that you like on um on oh sh look at that you might have seen some makeup that you've seen on pinterest pinterest is the best place i recommend you to go to go and have a look and that's for anything that could be new year's eve that could be christmas that could be your birthday that could be your 21st that could be anything that you've got coming up it just could be an interview oh look at this I love this so you can have smaller weddings in here if you wanted to um, you can also book Christmas in here and Christmas Eve I was going to have my 40th in here but I ended up having it downstairs but look how beautiful it is in here with all the um, all the candles lit uh, really important candlelight and lighting is so important but Mitten Hall will get that right for you um, it makes the ambience of everything look just so much better um, candlelight make it look beautiful and twinkly and if you think about it, if you got married in January, February or March, when their cheaper package is, um, I'm just coming back down the stairs, can you imagine, I'm going to take you outside now, can you imagine, because of course it goes darker in the evenings and you've got the chance to be able to have a look take you out through outside have a look at everything when it's gone darker about four or five o'clock and I think that would make it so magical obviously in the summer you can use the terrace and you can come outside but again you are not guaranteed the weather when it was Frankie Jack's um, first birthday and his christening it was glorious sunshine but the week after it was absolutely piddling it down so you are never guaranteed the weather remember that you are never guaranteed just because it's your wedding day and you think it's going to be the best there you're not guaranteed now you can go and have photographs down there um beautiful beautiful scenery that you've got looking out down by the river if you wanted to and of course this could be all done up i've seen all this done up with fairy lights um obviously it depends how much money you want to put into it uh, to what you're going to get out of it now from the main um the main uh building that i've just been in or should I say the main room you would actually come through these doors to come outside um you can see where i am because then the top table is here and the dj's there there. Do you see what I mean? But look how beautiful it is. The surroundings are gorgeous. This is why, can you hear me? I'm so passionate about this place because I just think it's the most idyllic place that you can get married. So I think I've actually shown you around everything. Oh, look at that. That's the, um, oh, that's the King Suite. So you're actually looking over uh, this view as well. Frankie Jack's just there. Look at him. Frankie Jack's just there. He said, Mummy, are we having lunch here today? He's like a, a little lord, isn't it? <laughs> He's in wedding if you look around and shop around. Don't be afraid to have a look on eBay. Don't be afraid to have a look at what other brides have done on Pinterest. Excuse me, sorry. Don't be afraid of going and getting second hand when somebody it might be um, there's a go and have a look at pre-loved because they'll have you know the little candles that I showed you as we came in, things like this. If your wedding venue doesn't have those, a lot of places on pre-loved, a lot of places on eBay will actually have those where a bride has used them for the day. And if you think about it, she's used them for the day. That's all she's done. She's bought them, she's used them for the day. They're there for you to use and you to take hold. Because if you hired them, you're only hiring what's second hand, what's been at another wedding anyway. So don't feel, oh, everything's got to be new. Everything's got to be brand spanking new. Uh, go and hire out. Have a look at shoes that have gone into the sale. Um, don't go and splash out £3,000 on a wedding gown unless you can afford it. Because this would be an absolute waste of money. Put that, I mean, if you're thinking about it now and you're right at the start, put it into your engagement 
ring, put it into your wedding ring, because I often say you'll never wear the dress again, but the ring will be sparkling on your finger for the rest of your life. So make sure you go and spend it there. Um, just fabulous isn't it highly recommend it this is an awesome venue and they will help you out from everything that you could possibly do but remember this is not just for weddings this is for wakes this is for funerals this is for 21st this is for 18th this is for a party this is for any party that you want to have this is for an anniversary that is the beautiful Mitten Hall in all its glory remember that will be done with your colour scheme with everything that you want to have for your wedding but they cannot accommodate you enough they are absolutely Absolutely sensational. Right, so I'm going to, I'm going to have to smooch that up <laughs> to you. Right. <laughs> I've managed to grab Leslie Ann. Now, this woman is amazing. This woman is the one that sorted my wedding out. She sorted my 40th out. She sorted Frankie Jack's first and a christening. Oh, yeah. So it's got a few, few bits for me. So Leslie Ann is the, the manager here, and this is who you will be seeing. So what would you recommend if somebody's thinking about getting married now? Um, obviously, it kind of, it's so exciting, but it can also put the fear in yeah, you. Yeah, no, it can it? if you've never done it before. Before, definitely yeah so what yeah. would you recommend for somebody definitely to come and see your wedding fair days definitely um i mean obviously definitely book mitten hall although <laughs> i'm a little bit biased but, <laughs> no um, we've just no. been talking about this and i'm not just saying it i'm a right fussy old so-and-so this um, is definitely the best place well i think so yeah but um i think definitely come to the wedding fairs because it's a really good opportunity to um you know meet different suppliers come and see the venue have a good look round because you know as you know yourself we are quite busy with weddings so we can't always show people around the venue um, but always come because sometimes we're doing like special offers and things so you might get a little bit of money knocked off which everyone always likes to save a bit of money don't they yeah. so um, or maybe you know we might be doing like special upgrades things like that on the day so it's definitely worth coming obviously well, like, to see us and meet the team as well I like the gin bar as well oh that's been that really popular this really, yeah, yeah I can yeah, imagine yeah, yeah. now um, you have got a little section called the dream makers we and that's have. where your girls are obviously yeah. helping people to put together the package that's yeah. tailored for them yeah their dream package because um, obviously not everyone wants the same thing um, and I think that's one thing that we're really good at here at Mitten Hall you know we identify with people's needs and yeah we do a lot of weddings every year but we treat every couple like an individual couple um, and obviously you know let them know bring their ideas to us you know and we can work with that to give them the dream day that they're wanting and that's exactly what you want and that's why I would recommend coming here it's absolutely sensational we were just talking about January February March because yes. obviously I'll always push for a bar jan <laughs> <laughs> And the Barjan is January, February, March. And yeah. obviously you're not guaranteed the weather in the summer. So what is the difference between the package that you would be paying £5,000 for in January, February, March to what you may be paying a little bit more for in the summer? Um, well, if, you, if you're going for a Saturday, you're looking about a £7,000 difference. Oh, yeah. So it's quite a lot. Yeah, massively. <laughs> um, and the thing is with weddings is, like I said, everyone's so different. Um, I mean, on a Saturday, our minimum numbers are 90 during the day, but not everyone knows that many people. Yeah. Not everyone has a big family. Um, so, you know, the whole reason of doing this package is that numbers are a little bit lower, and then if people want to add on, they can. But they're still saving like quite a lot of money, really. And you still get your drinks on arrival. You, do, yeah. you get your master of you ceremonies, yeah, which yeah. you could be one of yeah. those on the yeah, day. Yes, possibly. You've got people, <laughs> honestly, at your beck and call. I cannot. You will feel like a king and queen if you've booked here because it's absolutely immense. Now I'm not being paid by Mitten Hall to do this. This is all on my own back. Uh, this is purely and simply because I want to tell you what's available in your area. Or you might be travelling. Do you have people that yeah. travel here? Yeah. I mean, to be honest, predominantly a lot of our business isn't local anymore now a lot is from sort of like Buryway, Wigan, Manchester, London uh, we get a lot of the Wirral that type of way, Cheshire way um, which is great for us yeah. so and it's nice to meet lots of new people. Yeah so yeah. Uh, Les, who, do, who do they contact if they want to contact straight away? Um, so they would normally contact our dream makers so that's Jess, Lucy and Rosie so they're based in the office they run everything up until the day um, and then our operations team will take over then and they'll run the day for so you. So if they can't get to the wedding fair next week yeah. Yeah. You do run them through the year, don't we you? We do. Um, you can also contact the hotel and have sort of a one-to-one -one meeting as well. Um, just for the girls and they'll show you around the venue and what's and the um, details of it? I'll, I'll leave them in the description below actually I'll leave all the details in the description below of how you will get in touch with them uh, because it might be that you just want to have a chit chat before you yeah, come yeah definitely over. yeah yeah um, you know not everybody 
booking a wedding venue like you've got to make sure that that's the right venue for you and we appreciate that some people come to Mitten Hall and straight away are dead set on having Mitten Hall for the wedding venue but there's also some people that are looking around 10 or 15 venues so you know a venue is a really important part of your big day and a lot of bride and grooms will not book anything else until they book the venue so you need to be sure that you're booking the right venue thank you lovely. so oh you're welcome thank you very Love much so you again. yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm always popping up here. Um, so uh, I will show you the rest of everything that I've been doing today with the rooms and how you can do your table up as well. But Leslie Ann is your first protocol with the Dream Makers and she will sort you out here at the Mitten Hall. See you later. Thank See you, you very later. much.